back on it When we escaped with our first real paycheck Wasn't much, but we needed less Yeah, than we do now We were driving along the coast I felt the ocean breeze on my face Wanted to go as far as we ever could <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. This is my bodyguard and my boyfriend, Brian. <laughs> if you are new here, hello. I make home decor videos, pretty much anything to do with like Target, home goods, decorate with me, sometimes clean with me, shop with me, hauls, that sort of thing. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. 10K subscriber giveaway coming really, 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 really soon. After several discussions or a couple discussions, I probably am gonna do a couple winners. So if you want to be a part of that, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I was like looking at all my videos and all the videos I've done, trying to like brainstorm ideas, things like that. And I realized I've never done a Walmart shop with me video, which is so crazy because it's definitely right in line with like everything that I do. I just have never done one. But that is going to change today because, well, especially because, but for multiple reasons, they got a really, really cute new like outdoor line that reminds me a lot of like the studio mcgee stuff spring patio vases that sort of thing really really cute decor stuff so i wanted to come find it for myself but also show it to you guys because it looks really cute and i think that you guys will really love it and if you're like me like i don't really shop at walmart for like home decor but whenever i like look in those sections i'm always pleasantly surprised by like what i see in store what people post online so it's definitely there you just have to go and look for it but i really do feel like they have some really cute stuff hidden you just gotta go find it. But that's what I'm here to show you today. I'm going to be showing you all the cute new home decor stuff that I can find. Things that are new to me, new to the store, probably new to you as well. So if you want to watch me shop at Walmart, then just keep watching. Random sidebar, but does your Walmart have a Dunkin' Donuts inside of it? It's like a full-blown Dunkin' Donuts. It's actually the only Dunkin' Donuts we have around here. But yeah, do you guys have a Dunkin' Donuts in your Walmart? Okay, so came over to the like home and garden center or garden center. This is where all or a lot of the really cute new stuff is that I saw. So many cute new pots and everything. Like we came over into the aisle and Brian immediately went over and touched the one that I like was most excited to see. So we have the same taste. <laughs> Which is good. We don't have to fight about it. <laughs> okay, so I love this one. Okay, honestly, I know this is, might sound crazy, but I thought it might work as a utensil holder. Utensil holder? Like spatulas, you know how like I have like my Ray Dunn one right oh, now? Oh, too short? I'm not sure. I, w I do wish it was a little bit taller, but this would be so cute as a utensil holder. I guess like if it was like even an inch taller. Yeah, I want, yeah. But yeah, that's really cute. And that is $8.94. And then they do have a bigger one for $12.98. They have it in a hanging basket version, a larger one, and then they have like the small one, which and is big, big one. the one that I have here. And then, yep, they do have like a big, big version down here with legs. That's like a standing planter, and that is $12. $29.84. They just have really, really cute stuff. This is kind of impressive All of this stuff Walmart. is super nice. I know, Brian just said, this is impressive is for Walmart. Kind of cool. Those are cool. Yeah, all of this stuff is like so cute. If this was like a little bit smaller in circumference, that could also maybe work as a utensil holder. A lot of this stuff is just super cute and definitely multi-use. They also have these really pretty baskets over here as well. Really, really nice woven basket planter. And this is only $26.97. It's really cool. You could also take the plastic part out if you didn't want it to be a planter. Um, and you could use it for like anything. You could use it as like a little kid's laundry basket or for dog toys or even for blankets. Definitely this stuff can be used for anything. Does not have to be used for plants. If you are into the galvanized metal, they do have some stuff for that as well. They have this really cool like silver and gold like mixed metal little round planter. They also have this planter with the stand that's like galvanized metal and kind of has like a brushed bronze effect as well on the legs and that is $18.94 and then the little tiny one is $5.94. This one's cool too. Very like boho vibes. It has like almost like an ombre gradient effect black and then it looks like it like drips down almost into the white with the terracotta on the bottom it is 497 this one's like the same size as like the little basket one that i like really really cool and a super good price if you like to do like outdoor stoneware type look they have this one that's really cool it's more like it looks like a bowl almost it's like wider not as tall and it has like this really pretty like stone gray look is really nice as well and that is $7.94 this like terrazzo I think it's called or terrazzo like or yeah terrazzo pot 
is really popular this year. They have a lot of stuff like this in the Target outdoor section as well. This is like a medium sized planter, I would say, and it would go perfectly with the stuff from Target. That is $11.74, definitely cheaper than Target, so you can get the look for less if you're looking for it. So they also have some different like hanging bowls. Like I said, they have this one that comes with the hanger, and then they also sell separately like macrame hangers that you can add to like any of the planters. These are really, really cute, very, very trendy. Looks like something that would be like Opal House from Target. You can definitely get it here for a lot cheaper. I would check your Walmarts. They do also have like really big options as well if you're looking for a big pot. That one's really, really cool. I also really like this one. It's only $25. This one's only $29. So much cheaper. What'd you say? Yeah, oh yeah, that's cool. That one looks like a barrel. Kind of is supposed to look like wood, but it is plastic and it is, I can't tell. Oh, it's $15. No, it's actually that one. That one's the red one. This giant red one is $23. And then this like half wooden barrel looking one is only 15. It does look a little bit cheap, I would say. So if you're like, I don't know how long it would last, if it would last more than one season, but I do like the look of it. And you could always paint it too if you want. You could try to whitewash it or something. I don't know, guys, get creative. It's only $15. If it doesn't work out, it's not that big of a loss. Uh, they have the infamous egg chair. I want it so bad. It's $2.97. It is Better Homes and Gardens. Like, look how cute it is. They also have like a smaller kids version. That's so cute. I'm in love. I like this outdoor rug. I like like the colors and the leaves. It's really, really pretty. This whole set is only 147 for the two chairs of the table and the bench, not the rug. But I really like the rug, so I wanted to show it to you guys. They have this big like poof ottoman. It is very like bohemian looking. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on camera, but it's actually like a navy color with cream, not black. I thought it was black from far away. It is $47, it's really cute. It is 16 by 16 by 16. So it's actually pretty decently sized. Looks a lot like the ones I've seen at Home Goods for double the price. And they also have a matching pillow for $12.82. They have really cute outdoor pillows. Honestly, everywhere has really cute outdoor pillows this year but I think that they are a little bit cheaper here than at Target. So cute, they have this adult rocking chair for 97 and then they have like a little kids one right next to it. That's so cute. I know I showed you the other egg chair so I wanted to show you the kids one. It's so tiny, I wish that they had one set up but it's absolutely adorable and it is 127 and then the adult size one is 297. I did find this lantern over here as well. It is $20 and it comes with a fake candle inside. Actually really cute. I think it'd be really cute for outside of our front door. Kinda wanna get it. <laughs> Just wanna show you this brill, this brill that Brian really likes. This grill that Brian really likes. It is cool. It has this like smoking cabinet up here. Oh, so you can like smoke meat and stuff. And then it does have like a regular grill, a little side table. And then I guess this part is like for wood chips. So that's pretty cool. You want it? Someday we'll have a house where you can have that. Okay, done with like the home and garden stuff. They have a lot of really cute stuff there. Now we're gonna check out the like cute home decor in the regular home section. Let's see what this is all about. Brian's favorite Walmart find, hot deals on candles. Five bucks. Five bucks, yeah. Hot deals. Although, I don't know, I'm just skeptical. I just feel like they don't smell smelly enough, if that makes sense. Okay, I like this vase. It's 9.82. It's actually, Really cute. This also caught my attention right away, this little like Wi-Fi sign. Always cute and helpful to have like right in your living room with you, like have people over or whatever, so that way like they can just plug it in, they have your Wi-Fi password and they are good to go. This little like fake plant home looking thing is extremely cute. It has like fake lavender in it. It is $14.87. I don't know, I think that that's really cute. What do you think? I like it. You like it? He likes it. It's Brian approved. This is a cute idea if you want to like save your wine corks. I don't like love the style of it, but it's a really cute idea. I'm sure they have a lot of really cute ones on Etsy. This one is $8.97 though, so like very cost effective. Then this one <laughs> made me laugh. I'm sorry about what I said when I was hungry. We are definitely both very hangry people if we don't eat, so that definitely applies to both of us. This little terranium for $14.98 is cute. It has like fake little succulents with little like rocks that they don't move. So that's nice. And yeah, you could just like put it on a shelf. It's already decorated for you. They do have a couple cute little trays. That one says bless. This one's just more plain. These are great for like on a coffee table. 
you could like put all of your decorations in here so it's like even more decorative but it's like really simple it gives a nice like layering effect and they have a couple cute options here they have a couple different like tinted colored glass vases but i don't know if you look closely the color on the inside i don't know you can tell it's like a sticker almost and it just like wasn't pressed on well i don't know if you guys can see that if the camera's gonna pick that up but so that's a purple one and then they have a blue one which is having similar issues then they have this like shiny brown colored one which is kind of reminding me of the smoked vases they have from studio mcgee this season um but this is like a lot more like metallic the one from studio mcgee like doesn't have any iridescence to it at all but they do have this one here if you like that look for 14.96 just dug to the back for this really really cute vase it is better homes and gardens of course they have all the cutest stuff here at walmart they do have this basket it would honestly be perfect to add to like a hanging basket wall i actually have a hanging basket wall that is in the works so i'll probably go ahead and pick this one up because i think it would be a good addition this one is a good price too at 24.96 a lot of you guys probably know but in case you don't shop at walmart they do have this whole like pioneer woman line she actually has a show last i knew on food network i believe it is she has a really, really cute, like, floral farmhouse line with, like, the cutest stuff. Really, really nice stuff, too. Like, those are, like, measuring cups. She also has, like, matching bowls, and everything always matches. Like, is this not the cutest flower sifter you've ever seen? Like, all of it is just so cute. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, I just wanted to show you that this is something that they have here. Like, look at that. Look at this melon baller, this ice scoop. Like, it's all just, like, really, really cute. So I wanted to show you because... I know they have a lot of it. This is so cute. They have a Pioneer Woman crock pot. It actually comes in two colorways. So this one has like blue accents with this floral. And then this one has red accents with that type of floral. Those are really, really cute. And they are $30. So that's honestly a great price. It's a decent size too. It is six quart, which is really good. Here is more of that like Pioneer Woman stuff. Like these really, really cute like baking set like rectangular baking set with these really nice handles blue and a red one and you get both of them for 1972 which is really cute then this is where it gets a little bit like mismatchy like everything matches but you get to like choose which one you want so they have like different pie sheets so they have that one they have that one and then they have like this blue one so a couple different designs to choose from honestly gives me huge anthropology vibes but this is obviously way 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 cheaper i would recommend going with this i had the mismatch stuff from anthropology it ended up not being my style that keeps happening to me my style has just changed a lot throughout the years um, but this is really cute huge anthropology vibes but for like way way cheaper they definitely don't have like the biggest throw pillow selection here honestly but they do have some really cute ones i really really like this one it's also really really soft i hate it or like it stinks when throw pillows are really cute but they're super uncomfortable because honestly sometimes we do lay on ours but this one is actually really soft and it is 1988. these ones are like more like filler pillows because they're more plain but they're also really soft it's a two pack and it's only 14.88 honestly that's such a good deal it ends up only being like seven dollars per pillow and if you really decided that you didn't like them you could always just use them for the inserts and get pillow covers off of Amazon. Digging out more cute ones. This one says, let's stay home. It's really, really cute and also really soft. I have to applaud them for how soft their like designed throw pillows are because they would still be comfy. Overlooking at like all the lighting options now, they have some really, really cute lamps. This one, you get the base. You have to get like your own lampshade, but they also have a ton of options here as well. This one is really cute, giving me like terrazzo vibes almost again, Just like a concrete look. Super cute for 1988. They have a lot of other really cute simple ones as well. A lot of really cute options. Honestly, reminds me exactly of Target. Here are some other cute options. Here's this one. It has like that terrazzo base and then glazed at the top. Then there is this one. This one's really cute with like a plain linen white lampshade. They have like more geometric ones. This one is like a wood feel to it with like a creamy linen lampshade. And these are $25. So those are really, really cute. A bunch of different options for a really great price. Honestly, Walmart kind of has things broken up similar to Target in a way. Hear me out. <laughs> because it's like 
Pioneer Woman reminds me a lot of like Opal House and Better Homes and Gardens reminds me a ton of Studio McGee and the Mainstays brand like their type of decor reminds me a lot of like Hearth and Hand more like farmhouse vibes that sort of thing so it reminds me a lot of Target just definitely like a little bit cheaper if not a lot cheaper um, and just like I don't know just different options but like personally I've never shopped for home decor here I do have something in my hand that I'm going to purchase and I'll definitely show you at the end. Stay tuned for a little haul at the end. Um, but yeah, they have like really, really cute stuff. So just give it a chance, you know, if you haven't, especially for that outdoor stuff, those like pots and stuff can be used for so many other things and they are so cute and such a good price. Checking out the bathroom stuff. This stuff's honestly all like really, really simple. Reminds me of something you'd grab for like your college dorm or whatever. And then they do have some more like intricate stuff. So I think this is more of like their special lines, like uh, Better Homes and Gardens, that sort of thing. This one is really, really cute, giving me definite like Opal House vibes. The soap dispenser is $11.88, so pretty on par with same as Target for these ones. And a lot of them are really cute. For all of these, they do have like a matching little like curtain and stuff. But I will say the top looks like pretty cheap. I don't think it would stay nice looking. I think it would get like rusted or the soap would start to come out of like the middle part. So personally, I wouldn't buy this here because the top is plastic. I would go for ones that have like metal on the top. I also have these like bathroom sets. So it comes with like soap dispenser, toothbrush, soap holder, hooks, and like a shower curtain. These are actually really cute. These remind me a lot of Target. Target does these as well. These range anywhere from $21 to $30. So they have a bunch of different options. And these are Better Homes and Gardens and Mainstay. Okay, came around the corner and found more like Better Home and Garden bathroom stuff and they have some really cute stuff this is really cute this looks so similar to ones that i just showed in my like home goods shop with me i will link that for you down below but yeah that like woven look i guess is just really really popular this year this one is also really really cute too this looks just like one i got from hearth and hand last year i actually really like this a lot and it does have that metal top i was just talking about and they do have like little covered jars that go with this set and a little toothbrush holder Okay, I actually really like that stuff. The soap dispenser is $12.97, then $9.97 for the toothbrush holder, and then these two like covered jars that you can put stuff in, like cotton balls, cotton swabs, are $18.97. So I see a matching basket that goes along with this stuff, but there is like a lighter woven basket, and I'm wondering if there's supposed to be like a soap dispenser and stuff that matches that. But I don't see one here, but that one's really cute. They do have like some furniture and stuff. This gives me like major Ikea vibes, like all the mainstay stuff. But honestly, it's perfect for like closet organization if you just want something super cheap. This is only $23 and that's like a shoe organizer. But yeah, they have like a lot of different like stuff as far as furniture goes. They do have like TV stands and little desks and stuff like that as well. They do have uh, better home and gardens or better, it is better homes and gardens. I wasn't sure line as well of furniture so they have like cube organizers pretty basic for 40 bucks they have it in white also comes in a black color and just like really really like simple furniture stuff online though they do have like a much bigger selection of furniture this is actually really cute this tv stand and i think that this like would move yeah so that's cute so you could have like the decorations in the middle or you could have them like both doors over here and then off to the side it's pretty customizable actually it's actually super nice and the tv stand is 309 so i honestly think that's a pretty good price for like how customizable it is and it feels really nice quality they have some good clearance going on right now too this is actually my air fryer mine is the oh yeah it's, i think it's this one or maybe mine's the nine quart one yeah, mine looks a little bit different. This, I think, is like a newer version. This one has like nicer buttons. But this is the air fryer that I have. I freaking love my air fryer. If you don't have one, you definitely should get one. We always cook stuff in it. We literally use it every single day. And I recommend getting like a really big one. So like at least seven or nine quarts because it's not as big as you think. This is really cute, this nesting basket set. You get three baskets. There you can kind of see them on the label. Those are really cute and they are $14.99. They have a ton of them here. I love the color of them and I don't know, I just feel like you could use them for so many different things. They have a lot of really, really pretty like mango wood stuff over here. They have this like angled bowl, perfect for like a big salad bowl. To have these like smaller bowls. They only have like a couple of each. It must be really popular. 
And they have this like bigger bowl. They also have this, which is like an oval, almost like a dough bowl, but like not as like boat shaped. So that's really nice. And that is $29. And then they have this, which looks really nice. It's like a tray with gold accents. That would honestly be perfect for a charcuterie board. That's really cute and that's only $19. This stuff is so, so nice and also very, very popular. This is cool too. It's like a salt cellar and it like is magnetic. So that's really nice and that is only $5.98. It's definitely some really really cute stuff hidden up in here just like by looking at this I can see that there's supposed to be like some other stuff like a bed tray as well as a square bamboo tray and here's the bamboo bowl so it's a little bit of a lighter color than the other ones if you can like see the two like different color differences there but that's really really nice I also really like these dishes as well they come in like a couple different patterns supposed to be mix or match looks exactly like all the stuff I want from West Elm which is just so crazy because it's so much cheaper here so many good looks for less they have like the plates and the plates come in like the lines or the dots so cute okay I'm dying all this stuff is so cute I was actually looking at this stuff online they have like bigger canisters I think I'm gonna go on the hunt for them but this is super cute I love the gold accent on top the salt and pepper set is really really nice as well and they also have like a couple different trays so I can see it in like the lines I can also see they have like the dotted one if you look really closely this is really cute it's only $4.97 matches so perfectly with all of the West Elm stuff that I love as well okay came looking for the rest of this set and I'm obsessed I think it's really cute it's so much cheaper than the stuff from West Elm that looks really really similar they have a lot of really cute accessories they have like a spoon rest a butter holder I honestly am trying to get away from stuff that says stuff on it because Ray Dunn um, but this stuff is all really really cute they even have like coasters but they have the canisters they have all three sizes I really like these the gold accents on top are honestly super nice what do you guys think they do have like more plain sets if you're looking for that like just gray just white and then of course they do have like the pioneer woman stuff they have really really cute stuff for that a coffee pod organizer like that's actually really cute a recipe card box set a bread box all really really cute stuff they do also have like a lot of like cute decor it reminds me of target as well a little bit cheaper than target and then they also do have like florals a lot of more cute vases hidden back here for like florals or even like wedding arrangements that sort of thing they do have some really cute options for like super cheap oh this is cute this cute little burlap basket stuff like that said it in my last few videos but i'm gonna say it again so that none of you miss it but you should definitely follow the freebie guy if you're not following him on instagram i'll link all my favorite accounts to follow on instagram for like good deals and that sort of thing like aubrey swambog freebie guy that sort of thing they are absolutely amazing they do like incredible deals they like find all the crazy deals also like coupon with kayla i'll list them all down below go follow those accounts that's how i find like all my crazy clearance finds these are really cute they caught my attention in the craft section if you had like a cricket you could make like whatever you wanted out of these they have this one that's like herringbone tile that one that looks like shiplap so a lot of like really plain but cute signs you could make these literally into anything you wanted if you had a cricket machine or if you're lucky to have a really talented sister that can make all really cool stuff like that i have a code for my sister's um shop link down below she makes really really cool t-shirts and does custom stuff as well you can reach out to her blank space customs I'll have all the information down below. Okay, off topic and also like adults only, but I'm really excited because they have this product that we had for the first time when we went to Charleston for the first time, and they are these like alcoholic freeze pops. So if you've ever had like an Otter Pop, this is like an adult version. They're really good. We've only tried a couple flavors. I think we tried watermelon margarita and lemon drop last time. Is that the lemon drop right there? Yes, yeah, so the lemon drop's so right good. there. It's so good. And it we're was gonna, hot too. Oh, it was great. We're gonna go ahead and pick these up and we're gonna obviously have to freeze them at home, but we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test for you later. Um, they have a lot of new flavors coming out as well, like over the next few months. So I wanted to go ahead and turn you guys on to these. You get how many in here? Eight 
of these for 20 bucks and they're really fun perfect for the summer take by the pool they're really fun but you should definitely keep them out of reach of your children they have alcohol if i haven't made that clear but they're fun and good so let's go ahead and pick these up so here at my walmart they have an eight pack of just the apple teeny ones then they have just like the cosmopolitan ones i think these are like some of their most popular flavors and then they do have like a variety pack so this has like cosmopolitan watermelon lemonade apple teeny and lemon drop I'm really excited to get these. Hey guys, it's me, I'm back, and I'm in my new apartment. You guys are probably all like, where are you? But yes, this is our new temporary apartment, I should say, I know I like said that maybe we'd get to move into our unit, but I definitely misspoke sooner than they thought, but we still have to live in the temporary apartment. But it's really nice, and we love it so far. But I'm back with the taste test of the skinny freezers. I'm really, really excited. Here is the packaging. Don't mind the fact that they're already all gone. But yes, the skinny freezers. I do want to say that I am working with skinny freezers on this video, but I really do love these. Like I said, we had these when we were in Charleston. So when we had the opportunity to work together, I was really excited because these are something that we genuinely really enjoyed. And I was super excited to find out that I could find them so close to me. I will leave a product locator down below so you guys can see where you can find them near you. Near me, I can get them at Costco, Walmart, as well as a store called Total Wine. I don't know if that's like a national store. I had never heard of it until I moved to Florida, so I'm not sure, but I will go ahead and link the product locator down below if you're interested in seeing where you can get skinny freezers near you. Just as a refresher, the ones I'm gonna be tasting are Cosmopolitan, Apple Teeny, those are the two that are new to me, and then Watermelon Lemonade and Lemon Drop, which I have had before in Charleston. They're so good, but I haven't had them in a long time, so we're gonna see how they stack up. I'm gonna like rank them all and tell you guys which one's my favorite in this pack but I have a feeling they're all gonna be really good okay the first one we're gonna try is cosmopolitan um I I don't like order cosmopolitans these are the vodka martini ones and they also have vodka cocktail ones and then they have a lot of other new flavors coming out too I can't tell you guys what they are yet but I definitely will be reviewing them for you guys on this channel and they sound really good that's the only thing I can say about them but this is the cosmopolitan one martinis are just like as you probably know very like strong alcohol flavor so i don't normally like order martinis but cosmopolitans i know have cranberry juice and i really like cranberry juice so i'm hoping that i will like this one let's see okay this is actually so good i really really like it but it has a strong cranberry flavor so if you don't love cranberry you might not like it also has like a strong orange flavor it's just like very fruit forward but i definitely taste the cranberry the most which Makes sense because it's Cosmopolitan and that's what makes Cosmopolitan pink. But yeah, this one's really, really good. Out of 10, I'm going to give that one like a 9. We're going to start off strong. I don't know if I should give anything a 10 because that's like the best of the best. But like if I was going to give a 10, I would. But I don't know. I feel like I need to try the other ones first. But so far, I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10. Okay, up next is the Apple Teeny. Let's see. Okay, this one's really good. This one has a stronger alcohol flavor but just tastes exactly like apple juice. Like adult apple juice if you know what i'm saying <laughs> this one is really really good as well i don't like it as much as the cosmopolitan i just really really like the cosmopolitan one so i'm gonna give this one like a six and a half out of ten i still would enjoy it i would choose it if that's what was there i would choose it out of any of them honestly they're all really good but i would choose the cosmopolitan one over this one if i had to choose okay back with the watermelon lemonade like i said i've had this one before but i just need a little bit of a refresher because it's been a minute Mmm, this one's so good. Tastes exactly like watermelon, exactly what you would think of. Super refreshing. We had these in Charleston. We went to Charleston in July, so it was super warm, and these were like the most perfect thing. Someone was selling them um, like in a Slim Chillers truck on the side of like King Street, I think. It's like the biggest street in Charleston. Was that the street? Yeah. King Street. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they were just perfect to have. They're super refreshing. So it'd be perfect for like a pool day or you can bring them to the beach. I will say they do take a couple days to freeze. So you definitely want to keep that in mind if you're planning on buying them for like a party or something. You definitely want to give them like two or three days to fully freeze. Um, but they're just perfect for like any type of like party, pool day, beach day, that sort of thing. They're really, really refreshing. And I almost forgot to rate it. This one out of a 10. I really, really like this one. I'm going to give this one an eight. It's just very refreshing, really, really fruity doesn't taste like too much like alcohol but they all are eight percent alcohol and yeah i like this one a lot okay and then last but certainly not least in this pack is the lemon drop one i think this is the one that i got when we were in charleston i love anything like lemon lemonade citrusy that sort of thing and i remember it being really good so i'm really excited mm. 
This one is so good. I will say out of all of these, this is the one that tastes the most of vodka. But it's really, really good. It's very refreshing. Really strong, like citrus. Like a little bit like, almost like the puckering effect. Like the inside of your mouth. Like if you're eating like something sour. Not too sour though. Just a little bit more than the other ones. I really like this one too. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. So I guess if I like had to rank them in order for this pack, I would go Cosmopolitan, Lemon Drop, watermelon lemonade and then apple teeny which is surprising because like i'm obsessed with everything that's apple they all, they're all just so good so i guess if i had to rank them this is how i would do it i will go ahead and leave the product locator down below like i said so you guys can find out where you can buy them near you you guys should definitely check them out they're so good and they're gonna have so many good flavors coming out these are gonna blow up these are about to be really hard to find so i would definitely try and go get them at your stores near you we had to go to like two walmarts to track these down they were like limited stock that sort of thing so so if you are interested, and you definitely should be, you should definitely check these out and see where you can find them near you. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me today. We moved today, so we are just super, super pooped, honestly. It's been so fun. The dogs are, like, roaming around, and they're really excited. We're all really excited, and I'm really excited. How many times am I going to say that? How many times am I going to say I'm excited to just, like, show you guys a little bit of this apartment? I've been doing sneak peeks and stuff on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, you should definitely follow me at Katie Vining. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for me today. It is time for us to crawl into bed, but I really hope that you love seeing everything that we found for spring home decor at Walmart. I was honestly so so shocked at all of the cute decor that they had i've never shopped for home decor at walmart before but they had a lot of like look for less stuff like i said like stuff that reminded me of stuff from target or home goods or even anthropology west elm but for honestly so much cheaper such hidden gems for sure we'll definitely be getting some of it for our new apartment but like i said that is going to be it for me if you love this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you next time bye guys